I want to do something new today. So I had this memory of these things called Garbage Pail Kids. And if I remember right, they also took logos and made them kind of gross. So today I thought whatever this filter lands on, we're going to make it into a gross logo. Okay, what's it going to be? <gasps> Lucky Charms. Not going to lie, this yellow is already a little gross looking, but you know what we have to do. We have to make it say Yucky Charms. Instead of this rainbow, I think I'll add maybe like a green goo, maybe put some holes in it here and there. Let's go. So I'm going to try to find like a drippy font. Ooh, that one should work good. I'm gonna type that out. I brought that into Procreate and I'm thinking for the rainbow part, I'm gonna kind of use this as a reference to add a green sludge. Now I'm gonna color it and add in all of the highlights and lowlights. I'm loving how this looks. Now I think it'd be cool to add like holes in the yellow, almost like it's like moldy cheese. Now I need to add in all the shadows for those as well. I'm gonna add little white dots, almost like mold is growing on it. Lastly, I wanna add a whole like green slime border to the whole thing and here's the final result. You just can't go wrong with a name like this. I really love how the final result turned out and I do think in the future I can take it even to a grosser level. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a gross redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? Apple, okay, let's go. Okay, so I think what we're gonna have to do is change the name to Crapple, and then I'm gonna use the poop emoji to kind of make this look like a pile of crap. Okay, so using the emoji as a reference, I'm just gonna try to draw what it would look like if the whole logo was covered in a pile of poop. And for the leaf, I thought it would be gross if it looked like there was just like a little bit of poop smeared on the leaf itself. Okay, I like that general shape, but I do want to make it look like a realistic ugh, bite is taken out of it. Okay, now I'm going to color all of it in. Now taking the airbrush tool, I'm going to go in and add in a bunch of like highlights and lowlights to make it look more realistic. I want to add a little more texture to just like some of the lowlights just to kind of make it look a little more grungy. To take it a step farther, I do want to add some like ooh, white mold on it some places. Lastly, I want to add just a little bit of specks of green in there. Now I'm going to bring that into Photoshop and finally change this to say CRA and here's the final result. This one turned out exactly how I envisioned it, but so much grosser. Let me know what you think about this one and which other logos I should do in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a nasty redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? <gasps> Starbucks! All right, let's do it. Okay, I know the name is not on the logo, but in my head I'm gonna call this one Star Yucks. And I think what we have to do is make it look like she's like throwing up and maybe that it's like catching in the bottom of the circle. So using this emoji as a reference, I think I'm gonna make her mouth really big. Then with like a light pink color, we're gonna add, oh gosh, the throw up in there. Okay, here's what we're working with. Now I'm gonna go ahead and color it all in a little bit lighter. Now I'm gonna paint over her face and make it look more like <laughs> the emoji. I feel like she still looks a little too put together, so I'm thinking maybe we move the crown like it's like falling off her head. Then I think we need to add in some like frazzled hair just so it looks like she's like really a mess. Lastly, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna add oh, chunks into this. So I'm gonna add all those and here's the final result. I know the whole point of the series is to be gross and nasty, but did I really have to take it this far? I don't know. This one is one of the grossest ones yet. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a gross redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? <sighs> Burger King, all right, let's go. Okay, I think for this one, I'm gonna name it Burger King. And I've actually done something very similar to this for a Halloween logo a long time ago, but I really wanna revamp it and make it so nasty. So I'm thinking we make this a nose with just snot pouring all over this. So I need to get rid of this U and type out OO in the Burger King font. Brought that into Procreate. Now I need to make this look like it's a huge nose with big nostrils. Okay, that looks crazy. <laughs> now I wanna make it look like snot is just absolutely flowing everywhere. Oh my gosh. Now I'm just gonna go in and add like little drips of snot just all over this thing. Now I need to pick a very snotty green and start coloring all of that in 
I'm gonna go through here and add in some little like low lights and highlights to each one of these just to really make it look a little more realistic but also a little more grungy. Last, I'm gonna add some to the letters and here is the final result. I love, love, love this revamp. It is so gross to even look at, but that's the point, right? Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. I just saw that Krispy Kreme changed this logo to Krispy Scream for Halloween, and today I'm gonna make other famous logos scary. So first I went with Starbucks, or as we call it, Scarebucks. I decided to make their existing logo red, I brought it into Procreate, and then started adding these details as if the Starbucks lady was a zombie. The final detail is I made her star an upside down pentagram. And here's the final result. I'm beyond happy with how this came out, and I could actually see them using something like this for Halloween. The second logo is Burger King's, aka Booger King. I took out the existing font in the Burger King logo and typed that out in one called Monster Mash. I wanted to add a like dripping green goo to the burger so I did that in Illustrator. Here's the final result. I think this one gave like a very 90s like Nickelodeon look and I love it. The last one I'm doing is Goldfish aka Ghoulfish. I decided to give the little goldfish guy like a sheet over his head so he looked like a ghost. I decided to change it blue and make it look almost like Danny Phantom with like a blue outer glow and here's the final result. I think this one turned out really great. Let me know what you think in the comments. Today I'm gonna be turning regular logo spooky. Up first I did Wendy's which I renamed to Witchies and for Wendy I decided to make her skin green, her hair black, and the bows red to kind of give an elf of a vibe. I drew a witch hat with the pen tool and here's the final result. I love how this one came out. It looks kind of like retro scary. Up next I did Pokemon which I renamed Spookymon. My idea was to make the O's in spooky be the eyeballs of the ghost Pokemon Gengar. I had to actually add his ears in there. Here's the final result. I'm actually blown away by how much this one looks like it could be real. Up next we have Fruit of the Loom, aka Fruit of the Gloom. But this one I went in on Procreate and decided to add a knife so it looked like it was going into the apple. Added a pool of blood to the bottom and finally a snake. And here's the final result. And last but not least we have Hardy's, aka Heldies. Also brought it into Procreate, changed the star black, and outlined it in red to make it look like a pentagram. Then I kind of rearranged how his face looked to make him look angry. And here's the final result. This one is probably like the scariest looking one of all, but I'm really happy with how it came out. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is part three of me turning famous logos scary. Up first we have Hostess, which we renamed Ghostess. My idea was this for to make the ring around Hostess be kind of like a Danny Phantom ghost portal. I made the ring look like it was glowing and added in that portal in the middle there. Lastly, I typed out Ghostess in the font Mouchamp, and here's the final result. I love just the whole concept behind this one, and I think it looks really good. Up next, we have White Claw, aka Fright Claw. For this one, I wanted to give it a hand-drawn effect to look similar to the wave they had in it already, but my idea was to make it look kind of like a witch's hand with like long nail claws. Changed it to a drippy horror font, and here's the final result. I love the name Fright Claw and Blood Seltzer. Last, we have Wells Fargo, which I renamed Hell's Fargo. I knew I wanted to make the horse look kind of like a skeleton horse, Horse. Eventually my idea morphed into making this the Headless Horseman. Once I was finally done with that, I brought it into Photoshop. I changed the yellow bar to be a black bar just to make it look a little more scary. Here's the final result. I love the little Headless Horseman guy, but I actually think this one's kind of cute. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. 